Welcome back to Crack and Packs MTG. I'm Matt, and today we have another Double Masters booster box battle we're gonna do because uh, we really like Double Masters here. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment. That way you can get in on giveaways. We're eventually gonna get to 11,000. When we do, I will give away another booster box. Also, there's some affiliate links in the description below. One for Magnolia Games. Please check them out if you're looking for some Modern Horizons 2. Also some for Amazon, but always support your local game stores first. I'm going to shelf these packs up a little bit. We're going to distribute them out. We have six contestants. They will get four packs apiece, and whoever has the highest mana value, or converted mana cost, if you will, at the end will receive the topper. Whoever has the lowest converted mana cost, um, I'm going to throw them a Strict Saving Collector Booster Pack. Which those, uh, you know, if you get the, the Demonic Tutor, or the Toot, as we call it, if you get that Time Warp, they, uh, they're pretty beefy. Alright, I pre-randomized the order before we started the video, just for the sake of time. I'm going to start things off with Corey. Second spot is Ryan. Third is Christian. Michael is up next. Aaron, and then in the caboose, Zachary. Good luck to everyone. We're going to go ahead and get started. Pack number one. I may have to adjust the camera here after the pack. Starting off with a tumble magnet. Urza's mine. It's always nice to get those uh, Urza lands in common there. Starting things off with the engineer explosives. This card used to be super valuable before the reprints. Wrath of God. This thing is iconic. Metal spinner and a foil factory. So pack one will be four for Corey. Let me adjust the camera ever so slightly. Thank you for bearing with me there. Pack number two. And we'll open three packs and we'll move on to the next one. Leaves a little uh, little mystery, a little suspense to the video. That way everything is just not out there in the open. Metal Mage, love this card. Not a ton of value. Used to be valuable. Austere Command. Battle Rattle Shaman and a Capsule. That's going to be eight more for Corey. And of course out of this set, we're looking for the Mana Crypt. We're looking for the Force of Will. There's so many other good cards in it, too. Set's absolutely loaded. But those are the top tier hits. Fatal Push, very nice. Got a little bit of a, maybe a misprint there. I don't know if you guys notice that. Pure Steel Paladin, this is a really good hit. And a Bloodsport Thrynax. Wizard and a Spellbomb. Six more for Corey. No Mythics yet. So where are the Mythics? Ryan, good luck to you, sir. Starting off with an Elvish Aberration. Urza Land. Adaptive Automaton with a Terrestrodon. That's a big beefy boy. Foil Hinder, originally out of Kamigawa. Very cool artwork. 11 to start things off for Ryan. Big start. That's what you like to see if you're after that topper. Pack number two. Hinder. This looks like it's got a little bit of a uh, little bit of misprints. Or, or I don't know if that's a I don't know if you guys can see it. A, a roller line maybe. But you can see there's a little bit of a uh, interesting. Anyways, ad nauseum, nice rare. Noble Hierarch. We we affectionately refer to her as Pam with an N in the Facebook group. So that is a really nice pack. Six more for Ryan. Still no Mythics. We're not very deep into the box yet, so sure it'll turn up somewhere. Pack three. Sin Triplets. There's our first Mythic. And a Glimmer Void. Used to love this card. I think it's originally out of Mirrodin. So first Mythic and a Glimmer Void. Going to add five more to Ryan's total. Christian, you are up. Christian actually, I think he was in our, our last Ultimate Masters battle, and he, I think think he was actually the winner. So let's see if his luck continues. That's being stage and a heartbeat of spring. Nothing crazy yet. No foil rare yet either. So uh, that's still up for grabs. And typically these have two foil rares per box or mythics. So fingers crossed we get that. <clears throat> Christian just starting off with a three slow start. 
but these battles can be won with just one pack. You know, the uh, the Colossus, Blasphemous Act, Phyrexian Revoker, Slumbering Isle, Foil Goblin Guide. <laughs> There's our Foil Rare. That would have been a really good hit at one point in history, but now it's just kind of a meme. Kind of a meme, like uh, like Doge. So can we make can we make a goblin cryptocurrency and call it Goge? Is that possible? Never mind. Let me let me get back on track here. Four, six, seven more for Christian. Pack number three. No beefy mythics yet. Send triplets is okay. It used to be really good. It's been reprinted in Mystery and now in Double Masters. Dualcaster Mage into Maelstrom Pulse. That's six. Nothing foil. Christian has his work cut out for him now. Michael C. Michael's actually local to me. We uh we play at the same local game store. So this is I think the first time Michael's participated with me on the channel. So hopefully he'll have some of that uh that new guy luck, shamanic revelation. Maze of Ith. Okay, that's actually a pretty nice hit. Doesn't add to the beef total. And a high market double land pack. Sheesh. You did get a foil rare and a maze of Ith. But only the shamanic revelation counts towards your total. Pack two. That foil, that foil high market's really cool looking though. I will give it that. Metamorphose, nice and common. Sunken ruins. Magus of the will. Three more. Michael is getting land flooded here. Pack number three. Cremator. Whoa, rolling Earthquake. Double red pack. Five more. Foil slot. No rares or mythics. So far, this box has been pretty tough. Where is everything at? Aaron, you are up. Nothing crazy out of this box yet. These things are typically really, really good. Maybe the second half of the box is where, where all the beasts hide. Wooded Bastion, Brutoclad, Treasure Creeper, and Chromatic. That Chromatic Star is really pretty. Look at that. Six more. Or six to start off with. Like, this box is full of lands. Absolutely brimming with them. Expedition Map. Like seeing that in Uncommon. Used to be a five or six dollar uncommon. Salvage Titan, that's a big boy with a Skittles. Okay, getting a little better now. And another foil rare is a freaking land. What is that's three foil rares? We have Academy Ruins, we have the Goblin Guide, and we have the High Market. That's wild. We'll take it though. So that is a total of 11 and a foil rare for Aaron. Good pack. Pack number three before we move on to Zachary. That's only our second or third mythic as well. Man Reflection, nice rare. Bosh! There he is. That's a big, rusty, beefy boy. All right, Aaron is doing well there. That is, uh, that's 14. Thirty-one total, very nice. And then Zachary, let's go. I still feel like we're only about halfway there on the mythic. So hopefully, this the, this last last bit of this box is gonna be really good. Starting things off with a vexing Shusher, very nice, and a Blink Moth Nexus lands on lands on lands. What is going on with this box? It is not free real estate. We're looking for beef and holy potatoes. Where are they at? Masterwork, Ion Storm, Foil Thopter Foundry, cool card at least. And then pack number three, let me get everybody's names visible. Pack three for Zachary. Where are the big hits at? Come on. Attraxa. There we go. That one's pretty good. Oh, 
what a pack. That gets a holy potatoes. What is up? It eventually had to happen. And a double mythic pack attracts a mana crypt. Is there something crazy in the foil slot? Ancient Stirring is a nice foil. There we go. This box finally produced. It's about time. I was getting worried. But a double mythic pack with a Traxa and the Mana Crypt in it saves the day. At least for Zachary. It's going to add four more. All right, so far we got Corey at 18. We have Ryan at 22. Christian at 16. Michael at 13. Aaron at 31. And Zachary at 11. Very nice. Last pack for Corey. It's about time we pulled that off. And, and typically the Mana Crypt and the Forza will run and pairs so can we can we double up obulet fire another land of course and a baleful strix for Corey. nothing crazy in the foil slot 20 overall ryan you are up i'm really glad that mana crypt showed up Path Exile, nice and common. Another land, Kimbaka Regent. Ooh, a foil path. That's actually, actually really cool. Three more for Ryan. Twenty-five total. Christian. Let's see what's in your last pack. Like I said, guys, please, please subscribe, like the video, and leave me a comment. That way we can get on the giveaways, and that way we can get to eleven thousand subs. That way we can give. Allison, Angel of Hope, she's such a thick girl. And another double mythic pack. Arkham and Avison in the same pack. That's wild. Um, but like I said, so we can get the 11,000 subscribers and we can give that booster box away. Um, the, the ones that won last time, they should be receiving their boxes this week. It took me a little while to get them shipped out. Just been super busy. So, so what is that? That's 8. 12 total for Christian. Puts you at 28. Michael, you're up. But uh, we definitely want to give away another booster box for, for 11000 So let's get there, guys. Braids and a Falcon Wrath Aristocrat. That's an eight. Twenty-one total. Aaron, you are up. And remember, all these totals are unofficial. I'll recount especially if they're close after the video. Awakening Zone and Goto Bandit Warlord. That's nine more. Nothing in the foil slot. I think that definitely locks down the top spot for Aaron. Total of 40. Nobody's even close. Zachary, you're at 11. Potential to win the low spot. Here we go. Open the vaults for six. Transmuter for four. And a tumble magnet. So that's 10 more for Zachary. I think that's actually going to give us a tie. So that's 21 overall. So our final totals. No, no, no. We, we actually don't. We actually don't. It looks like Corey uh, won the low spot with a 20. Ryan's at 25. Christian's at 28. Michael's at 21. Aaron's at 40 with the top spot. And then Zachary is at 21 as well. So that gives Aaron the topper. That's going to give Corey the Strix pack. And I'll re like I said, I'll recount this after the video to make sure. But let's see what we get. Strix pack for Corey. Good luck to you. May it be full of all the toots. Snarl. Map. Mavenda. Agonizing Remorse, I think. Swords of Plowshares, really cool card. Foil Duress. And an Urza's Rage. That's actually a really nice pack. Lots of Japanese alternate arts. All right, let's get the topper out for Aaron. So I feel like since the box was just kind of the mid a middle-of-the-road box, I feel like maybe, we maybe we'll get some gas out of these toppers. Oh, that's so good. Sword of Fire and Ice. And I thought that's really that's two really solid toppers. Again, thank you guys for joining me. Um, we'll catch you in the next one. I love all your faces. Have a good day.